So today I'm going to show you how to overcome a common error we are finding with HP printers and PDF programs. Uh, what's happening is the printer will throw up an, a 49 error, which will generally look like a 49.00.ff or something similar, but it will always have a 49 at the start. Um, this generally occurs when you're trying to print a PDF document, but may also occur when printing some other documents from Word or other uh, packages. So um, what we find is it's generally this, this error indicates that there's a miscommunication between the printer and the computer that's actually sending the document. So it can be in the actual communication process itself being interrupted or corrupted or the fact that a um, PDF file is corrupt and has caused the issue. You will find that either the printer will automatically restart itself, so it will throw the error, then automatically restart, or sometimes it will ask you to reset the printer itself. Um, so what you might find is when the printer restarts itself, that it will, when, when it gets back to its, uh, the ready state, the 49 error will reoccur again. Uh, this happens because the job is sometimes caught in the queue, the job that's actually causing the 49 error, so that every time the printer restarts, it gets the job that's corrupt again and throws the same 49 error, so it's very hard to overcome. What you actually need to do then in that situation is go into your printers, so press start, go into printers, right click on your printer and choose to see what is printing. This will actually show you a dialogue of what's currently printing there will generally be a document there which is the one that's getting caught what you want to do is just right click that and cancel all documents cancel that print get that out of the queue then the next time the printer restarts which you may have to be doing manually because it won't automatically happen uh, that job will no longer corrupt it the printer will go back into ready state and then you can work on fixing the problem uh, you can even just try printing that same document again. Uh, sometimes it's just corrupt that once during the communication process. Sometimes it's the actual document. But a um, few workarounds for this is first step is you want to check the printer firmware on your printer. You can either do this by going into the menus on the printer itself, um, pressing administration or menu, go to information and then print the configuration page. Once you get the configuration page up, you can check the firmware of the actual printer to see whether it's the latest one according to the HP website. So if we go into the printer itself, um, you can type in the IP address of the printer up in the top toolbar here. So once you know your IP address, go into it there and choose configuration page, which will be similar to the printout. And just here is located the firmware date code. So this will give you the date that the firmware came out plus the date code of it. What you want to do is check this up against the HP website. So go to hp.com.au, click on support, download drivers. And then what you want to do is enter your product in here. So today we're looking for a 6040. 6040F is our printer. Once you go into this, you'll uh, then see a list of options available for that printer. What you want to choose is cross operating system, unless you actually know what you're on. So if you're on Windows 7 64-bit or 32-bit, you can go into these. Uh, but generally for, for firmware, you can go into the cross operating system. Go down the list, you'll have a headline called firmware there. Then there's two options to uh, update the firmware. Today I'm going to take you through the easy firmware upgrade. If that doesn't work for any reason, then you may need to update the firmware manually, which I will show you in a separate video. So go ahead, download this file. It's 115 megs, so it will take a little while. I generally like to save it to my computer rather than running it all at once. Once that's downloaded, you will be faced with a program called the Easy Firmware Upgrade Utility. From here, it's very easy. You want to choose the drop-down box. Make sure you choose the printer that you're actually you want to send the firmware to so this one here is the 6040 in front of Lisa and I'll do send firmware the progress will go through all the way to the end and then a smiley face will finish here once the firmware has been sent then the printer will receive the firmware uh, generally takes about 10 minutes uh, in that 10 minutes the printer will actually restart go back into ready state and that will uh, show that the firmware is complete after that, then you can go back in, reprint a configuration page and just check that your firmware date code has been changed from to the latest version, which matches the, the version that you've got.
on the uh, HP website. So basically what that does is it upgrades the internal workings of the printer to the latest version. Uh, often what happens is the Acrobat programs update, the printer won't understand it, therefore you've got to kind of align the two um, to make sure that they can communicate properly with each other. So gen one thing I must say, when you're doing the firmware update, make sure that you're not doing anything else on the machine at the time. Um, you can't be doing any printing, any scanning, faxing, copying, or anything at all. This can interrupt the um, firmware update, and if it does interrupt the firmware update, can cause the printer to be called together. So there's no warranties offered at all uh, for a firmware update from HP or from us. So be very careful, make sure nothing else is happening during the process while you're doing the firmware update. So the other third step that you might want to um, do to make sure is just update your Adobe Acrobat program making sure that's up to date, making sure your printer firmware is up to date will then uh, cause far less of these 49 errors which can be quite disturbing to pop up. I hope that's helped you today. If you have any questions, please give us a call 089303 388. Um, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.